Now at three, a historic speech from the Oval Office. Tonight, President Biden will deliver a message to Americans days after dropping out of the presidential race. Thank you for joining us here on Cron 4 News at three. I'm Justine Waldman. Cron 4 is your local election headquarters. And in just two hours from now, President Joe Biden will make his first nationwide speech since announcing he would not seek re-election. The president said that his speech from the Oval Office will address what lies ahead and how he will, quote, finish the job for the American people. For more on what we can expect tonight, Cron Force Teresa Stasio joins us now live from our newsroom to start us off. Thanks for joining us. Well, hi, Justine. Political analysts say tonight's speech will be a high-stakes one for President Biden as he addresses his legacy. Here's more. I think that he needs to probably reassure voters that he's still up to the job for the next six months. President Biden at a crossroads. I think he has a huge amount of good faith from Democrats on this side now. Um, but I think that that's still important as he is helming the ship, you know, for the next six months or so. Um, so I'm sure he's going to try to assure voters of that. UC Berkeley political science professor Amanda Clayton on the president and his address Wednesday as he talks to the nation about his decision to leave the race. I'm sure he's probably, you know, what he brought to his campaign in 2020 was his sort of, you know, folksiness, right? Like he spoke to the union guys, he spoke to that sort of Midwest voter, and perhaps he'll try to speak to that group and try to assure them that Kamala is really his uh, base too, right? Dr. Clayton adds that he will, almost no doubt, outline his support for his vice president, now on the top of the ticket. On the road Wednesday, Vice President Kamala Harris on why she is the right person to succeed Joe Biden. Meeting with thousands from one of the country's oldest black sororities. In Indianapolis, she laid out some of her priorities, giving a nod to President Biden and her promise to continue the work. Clayton adds that this is very much Harris's moment as well. After leaving Indiana, she will head to Houston for another get-together with supporters that are growing by the minute. And I think that's the thing that really caught me the most by surprise uh, on Sunday. You know, it happened immediately after he announced is just the, the well of enthusiasm that seems really genuine and not just about this transition uh, in itself, but actually genuine support for Kamala, you know, excitement for her. Uh, and again, yeah, with the memes, with the videos, with everything, it's really uh, an excitement that is very organic. It's very online, but that speaks to how that new generation of voters communicates and creates energy. Uh, and so that's something that I don't think anyone really saw coming. And I'm sure that the Harris campaign is very excited about. Harris has tapped former Attorney General Eric Holder Jr. from the Obama administration to start the vetting process for a vice president on her ticket. Several names have been rising to the top, including Senator Mark Kelly and Kentucky Governor Andy Bashar, requesting information from potential candidates to review. Now, the word is that announcement will come in August before the convention in Chicago. In the newsroom, Teresa Estacio, back to you, Justine. Teresa, thank you. And President Biden's